another month has flown by. Here we are for another Q&A. And I am answering quite a few questions today, but there are some pretty good ones towards the end. So definitely stick through. What would you do if in your country it wouldn't be possible to get grass-fed meat? Would you still eat fatty parts of ruminants and their organs? Or is the grain feed cause it to be too toxic? I have no access to it and no option to get delivery from outside the country due to the laws. Uh, so I would see based on all of the animal proteins you have access to, which one is the highest quality, what they're getting fed. And even if the animal is getting fed grain, that's not necessarily the bad thing. It's you know the quality and type of grain that's going into the feed. Does heating up raw dairy have a significant negative impact on the nutritional content of it, especially enzymes? So granted the initial quality of the grass-fed raw dairy is excellent, then you don't really have anything to worry about. The problem is when you take you know, corn-fed, grain-fed, feedlot, conventional dairy, you ultra-pasteurize it, you homogenize it, that's where you have a problematic food. The enzyme and bacterial content of a raw dairy product, especially if it's not fermented, isn't really that significant, so I wouldn't worry about that too much. Is it okay to drink the water kefir on an empty stomach or is it better to just take it with food? Does it matter if it is before, during, or after food? Uh, so water kefir is a probiotic. The bacteria are digesting what you feed them. So you, ideally you would take a prebiotic, some type of sugar, carbohydrate, starch with it. And simple answer, yes, you want to have the water kefir with a meal. It's not the end of the world if you have it on its own though. How much trust do you have in the integrity of the USDA organic label? I mean, unless you're gonna start growing stuff in your backyard, you don't really have an option. And uh, you can try to source specific grains from specific locations and farms, although that's going to be more expensive. But the real question here is, how many foods are you including in your diet? What are you eating? And how do you feel after you consume those foods? I would worry more about the specific food, granted you're buying all organic, as opposed to the integrity of the USDA organic label. Any nutritional suggestions for women suffering from fibroids? Everyone says about soy, which I already do, and cut back on sugar, but what should I be eating? So if your hormonal profile is disrupted, it can be difficult to avoid all of the toxins in our diet and lifestyle. If you go organic, if you increase your animal food consumption, if you supplement the right vitamins and minerals, you should start getting a lot better. Reducing Wi-Fi is another big aspect of that, but it basically requires an entire lifestyle haul uh, for most health issues. If, if you're really not trying to pinpoint certain things. So that might be an answer that I say to quite a few of these questions. You have to basically fix every single thing wrong with your diet and lifestyle before you get better. Have you tried reaching out to alternative communities to find like-minded people, new customers, and avoid big tech censorship? So I don't like the term big tech, just like I dislike the term deep state. I know who these people are. I just can't say their name on this platform. and Every single platform is controlled by these people. You know, my goal is not to expose all of these psychopaths. It's just to improve the life of as many people as possible. So why would I compromise what I'm doing when in reality, these people control those platforms and there's no scenario where I would be able to say certain things. It's why I'm already getting heavily censored, even for pointing out not so crazy things that they do. Is there a way to grow additional breast glandular tissue after puberty for those of us who are underdeveloped? I was told it's a congenital deformity, but I suspect it's poor nutrition during puberty that causes it. So if your developmental lifestyle alters your hormonal profile to the point where you don't develop your sexual characteristics, then what I would do is I would get a blood profile, like what your hormones are now, the estrogen, the oestrogen, and figure out in females what the typical hormonal profile is of someone with large breast tissue because we know when people go on hormone replacement therapy for females or take things like birth control and their estrogen levels change, their breast tissue does increase. So I'm assuming you can probably take some type of estrogen to some degree. Uh, we have a beef ovary powder on uh, organ supplements. I'm not sure if that's a concentrated enough amount of estrogen to do that, but thankfully you're a female. So even if uh, the estrogen supplementation doesn't work, you can still get some type of breast surgery. Uh, guys are not as fortunate in that regard that there's a surgical alternative to that. Discuss protein to carb ratio in a meal for balancing blood sugar. So the way I look at it is IIFYM, if it fits your macros, macronutrient ratios are really a distraction for all of those toxins in our food supply. 
the pesticides, herbicides, agrochemicals, the things that are basically poisoning your organ systems, impairing your digestion, and not allowing you to absorb that food optimally. Same thing with the Wi-Fi radiation levels that can give you dysbiosis very easily. And also the food volume. You know, I don't think macronutrient ratio is a priority above those two things. If you clean up your diet, if you're eating high quality, low toxin food, or if you're in a low Wi-Fi environment, if you're taking probiotics, then the ratio shouldn't be as significant as uh, the food volume and the pollutants in the food. When are you going to start selling range meat for free, like it says? Uh, so Frankie's Range Meat, we do have the most affordable meat prices online compared to any other business. If you look up a steak, it's gonna be cheaper on Frankie's Range Meat than anywhere else. Unfortunately, uh, my business model hasn't really panned out to what I anticipated with all the hardships and negative things I've gone through with the business. As much as I would have liked to give back more already, uh, I'm just having a hard time keeping things afloat right now. So we'll see how things go towards the end of this year, early next year. What to do about dry skin specifically on the hands? So I've never really had any issues with the skin on my hands except when I used to bartend and my hands were always in like water and chemical cleaners. Uh, so I would, I would look at that first and see like what type of water are you rinsing your hands with? What are you doing? But a big thing that fixes skin issues for most people is getting some sun or going to a tanning bed. Um, that's something I do basically year round if I can. Is CMOS completely useless? I feel like it's a giant money scam. Yes, and whenever something comes from the ocean, the simple explanation is that the pollutant levels in the ocean are so high that you don't even want to consume anything from it, regardless of the mineral content of the CMOS, regardless of what benefits they're saying, chlorophyll, whatever it is, you're poisoning yourself. When you get into these other supplements like collagen or whatever they're trying to sell you, it's a more in-depth explanation to explain why it's bad for you. Uh, thankfully, the ocean-based stuff is a little more obvious. How to prepare for a prolonged fast and how to minimize the initial hunger swings. Uh, so ever since I've corrected my diet and nutritional status, I can go days without eating and I won't get hungry. I'll just get fatigued and tired. So it's probably an indicator that something's wrong with your nutritional status if you are getting hungry. You're deficient in something, something's not balanced. Uh, you can get a bunch of different blood panels and you could also get a hair mineral analysis that might help you pinpoint stuff. But if you just increase the amount of animal protein in your diet and take different things we do have on organsupplements.com, you should notice a big change in your appetite. How can one stop sugar cravings on a carnivore diet? And this person basically says that they can't eat sugar or starch because they have SIBO. And I was in a similar position to this. And I followed carnivore for two years to mask the SIBO candida. And eventually I realized my liver was so destroyed I couldn't even follow carnivore anymore. Uh, so you craving the sugar is your body telling you that it wants to grow candida to detox your liver. So you need to find a way to actually change your diet drastically, consume very lean grass-fed beef, follow diets similar to mine, starches, sugars with a lot of probiotics. Maybe you might have to take an antimicrobial uh, protocol at first, some masticum, but definitely just watch my day of eatings and watch my videos on why I stopped the carnivore diet to get an idea of how to fix that problem. My brother's two to three month old baby is having more than normal acid reflux. What to do? I believe the baby or his mother took antibiotics after birth. Thank you, Frank. Uh, so that's a debacle that I can't really answer in a short question. Uh, the baby probably has some liver damage that, or organ damage to his digestive system and definitely some dysbiosis and probably out of whack nutritional profile and the macronutrient profile of the breast milk. You'd have to, I would guess, correct the diet of the mother as much as possible uh, to favor what she hasn't been eating and then maybe even give the baby some stuff, but it's just not a good spot to be in. Are eggs and chicken meat necessarily inferior to beef? Is there something you can feed the chicken so their meat and eggs are fine to eat? Also, when is your new book coming out? Uh, so two greatly anticipated things here. One is me having a farm and actually feeding animals, my secret feed, which I am not disclosing to anyone, unfortunately, because as soon as I do, someone will have chickens and eggs with that exact feed within three months. Uh, the book, I wanted to launch it somewhat in the middle of next year, but that might not happen. It might take a little longer. We'll see. Do you think you might try permaculture in the future, maybe as a small farm or as a supplement to a restaurant of your own? Uh, so I'm kind of in a position now where my current businesses aren't making enough money to even support themselves, let alone uh, for me to purchase a farm and be comfortable with that, mainly because I'm not handy, I'm not mechanically inclined, 
and every time something breaks or goes wrong, I have to pay someone thousands of dollars or hundreds to fix it. And if I go on a farm, <laughs> that's just a million more things that can break and spend more money. So I don't see myself living in that situation in the future. I'm sure I could figure it out if I absolutely had to. It's just the amount of time that I, can, I have to invest into that compared to my current skill set just is not worth it. Where did you learn about nutrition? Some reading recommendations would be nice. Thank you. Uh, so the book that started it all for me was How to Eat, Move, and Be Healthy by Paul Check. Obviously, no book has everything, which is why I'm, I'm working on my second book myself to try to get everything in check as much as possible. But really, you know, when you make well over a thousand YouTube videos on nutrition and do individual research on all of that, hundreds of live streams, that's how I've accumulated my knowledge. Is laser hair removal treatment dangerous in terms of radiation? Is there differences between different machines which provide different treatment? Uh, so I did have laser hair removal when I was younger because I didn't think I'd ever be able to grow facial hair and I just didn't want to have to shave so much. But I ended up fixing my testosterone levels to some degree and then hair came in. Uh, so I wouldn't recommend it. You can just use like a straight razor for any scenario where you would need laser hair removal unless you're a female. And it might be dangerous and cause damage to the skin short term, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. I would be more worried about getting ripped off by these places because the sessions are really expensive and they can change the power of the laser. So they might have you going, you know, 10, 15, 20 times when it's not really necessary. How to eat gluten without feeling unmotivated and tired. Uh, there's three things I do. I uh, take vitamin B1, take ascorbic acid, and drink water kefir as a probiotic. And you can also reduce the food volume. And don't just like eat a ton of pasta and then lay down. Try to stay moving a little bit. How is making slash eating the food you've more recently been making in line with all the videos you've made about these kinds of food being bad for human health? So I don't recall ever being too dogmatic about plant foods, only specific ones that are high in anti-nutrients. I think it's been more of the people that kind of hopped on the carnivore bandwagon who were incredibly dogmatic about certain foods just to try to like be edgy and, and try to take some of the viewer base. So I think this is kind of gaslighting me to believe that I said things I didn't. But you know, I, I have videos making sourdough bread three or four years ago. So... I think it's just shills making these types of comments on my channel. What's your opinion on autoimmune disease and could you possibly make a video in the future about reversing and preventing it? Uh, so this is the same as the answer to that fibroids question. You really have to fix all of the lifestyle factors, especially, you know, just two really simple things quickly, going organic and reducing your exposure to radiation. Do shellfish have a good amount of vitamin D? You cannot get vitamin D from any food source outside of a supplement. You need to get it from the sun and even things like tanning beds aren't really that much. So if someone's telling you that you can eat food for vitamin D, they have no clue what they're talking about. Any ambitions to have a wife and kid? Uh, so the idea of having, you know, a girl I'm in love with and a family and kids to take care of and raise, that's very, very pleasant. The reality of getting to that point, I just, I just can't fathom it right now. You know, I mean, I haven't gone out too much. I probably need to get out more, but... Maybe I've asked out two dozen girls in the past year, and by ask out, I mean is you know approach them, get their number, say hey, we should hang out sometime. I had I, I didn't get texted back once, so uh, the dating prospects and the amount of effort required and how most women are now, I, I'm just not willing to put in the effort. And yeah, you know, part of the reason I'm unhappy with my business is definitely partially because of that. But um, you know, you know, I have like a, a two two thoughts in my head. You know, if you want to pursue women, that's like one thing. If you want to pursue business, that's another thing. It's very, very difficult uh, to do both at the same time. I want to buy the best bars in Pemmican, but I live in the UK. Do you have any other means of shipping that bypasses customs? Uh, hey, Tony, what's going on? I know you've placed quite a few large orders and <laughs> have cost me probably thousands of dollars in losses. No, uh, listen, I understand it. It's, it's the price of doing business, but you can't ship certain things to customs. So Tony, I haven't had any problems lately with the UK. So place a smaller order, not like $700. So if I send it over there and it gets seized, I don't lose so much money. Let's, let's send a smaller order to the UK. Let's see how it does. Do you see upcoming food shortages or is it another PSYOP? 100% PSYOP. They control everything. It's, it's one of the things they're going to do to make things crazier and crazier, crazier to get people to abide to their new world order riches. Hey Frankie, any way to prevent dementia or improve it? Uh, so off the top of my head very quickly, you wanna make sure 
person isn't on any statins or any sort of medication in general really. Uh, you want them to increase their B vitamin content specifically through animal protein consumption and, and reduce the omega-6 content, maybe add some omega-3s to their diet. And, and oh, even more importantly, reduce their radiation exposure. If you do those four things, an old person should be okay uh, for quite a while longer. What's your favorite movie? Uh, so I don't really have one. I did rewatch Lord of the Rings uh, a month or two ago, and it, it's just made incredibly, incredibly well. You know, there's certain parts of, of the movie that I don't like watching again because it's kind of cringy. But uh, like, like, like it's for me, like the part where uh, that I don't like is where uh, Golem steals the bread from Samwise. I just don't like stuff like that when it happens, like like degenerate stuff. Uh, but the movie is really, really well made. I, I, I especially for how old it is. Uh, also, I like a Jewish girl, but how do I stop it? <laughs> I decline to answer that, although I, I am very tempted to be anti-Semitic whenever someone requested of me. Dandruff, a long-term solution. Uh, same thing I said earlier with uh, the fibroids question and, and that other question. You need to really improve everything in your diet and lifestyle, and, and things should fall into place, including having dandruff. Are you gay? And, I mean, I think I've answered this in a and a before. Absolutely not, and it would certainly make my life a lot easier, uh, to say the least, if I was. Cause of gray hair. So I'm sure someone in the comments can answer this better than me. Uh, normally I would just say, hey, improve all of your lifestyle factors as much as possible, and that will delay it. I did hear someone say that if you have a lot of toxins when you're younger, uh, that means that you'll have gray hair sooner, which might actually be true, but I'm assuming there's some sort of biological mechanism. Um, I don't know, are, are there like... 70, 80, 90 year old men that still have like brown and black hair. I think I've seen them, although I'm not sure. So I don't really want to go into specifics. I'm sure a couple of Google searches might answer that question for you. But thank you guys for joining me today. I went through the entire list of 80 questions and I avoided about 10 or 15 of them for certain reasons. Uh, but I do appreciate you guys watching my channel and this is one of the ways I'm doing that. Maybe we'll get back to live streaming, maybe not. But you can go to frank com to support me through all of my businesses. So hopefully I can make more and more of a difference in improving people's health over the next few years. If you can drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, as I said, frank to check out all of my businesses and support me through those. Thanks again for joining me, guys, and I'll see you for tomorrow's vlog more negative bullshit.